Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. I am here with my co-host, Tim. And where are we, Tim? Where? It's a bit unusual, isn't it? There's Lego, so it has to be Tim's set. Uh, yeah, but this is Tim's new set, so no garage door anymore. Bit yep, of a shame thankfully. to see the <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, not a shame at all. Uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, new set for Tim. But we have two boxes here, two very big boxes, and a sheet here saying second gen Ryzen processors. What could be in these boxes? I don't know, but we're going to find out. I'll uh, I'll start with mine. Got right. the, the knife. Yep. Uh, watch your fingers. Yeah, watch the fingers. And whatever's in the box. Try not to amputate it. All right. Nothing exciting yet. I'll uh. All right. I'll fold that away. Yep. Don't want you hurting yourself. Okay. It's a very heavy box. I don't know if this is going to go well or not. There's not a whole lot of desk that way, so... The suspense is killing everyone. Another box! So we have another box. We're unboxing boxes. As we often do. Okay, we've got a big black box there. And what looks to be probably the processor box. It says Ryzen. <laughs> it's all okay. That, that's a loaded box, that, that one. That is a very heavy box. All right. Um, which one should we start? Let's go with the, the one I've almost broken. Yep. I'll chuck this one up here for you. Yep. Okay. Let's, we'll try that again. So in this one... Ta-da! It says second gen Ryzen processors. Yes. I feel like everything's about to nice. just fall out. Exciting stuff. All right, so this is the review kit. So AMD has provided some nice G skill Sniper X memory, and that is 3400 CL16 16 16 stuff. So yeah, 16 gig kit, uh, 3400, that is promising. All right, we have the X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. So a motherboard, oh, we have two motherboards. Nice. A Tai Chi, love a Tai Chi board. So the ASRock. Tai Chi Ultimate. So that's what I got. Well, um, I'll take those are both in frame for you, but yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't want to sit too close to Tim. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I'll go over some of the, the news portion of this unboxing while you unbox what's in your. Oh, we haven't done this. We haven't done the main show yet. <laughs> Getting a bit ahead of myself. Ta da, again. Oh, it looks very nice. So we've got, okay, a little flyer there. So this will be the X models. So uh, AMD's not sampling the non-X models at this point. Yes, yeah, so this is the Ryzen 5 2600X in this box over here. Ryzen 7 2700X. This one is definitely heavier because it's got a different cooler in it. Yes. Um, this one's got the Wraith Prism, I believe. And let's just look at our little sheet. Wraith Spire in this one, so. well. Do you want to open those and have a bit of a look what, yeah, to sure. show the cooler off while I talk about... So the Ryzen 7 2700X, that will be 330 US. That's the MSRP at the moment. Base clock of 4.3 gigahertz... Uh, 3.7 gigahertz base, 4.3 gigahertz uh, maximum single core. And of course, it's an 8-core 16-thread CPU. How does this thing shut? You push the... Oh, I see. Come on, Tim. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and a 20 megabyte level, uh, well, actually, it's a tw 20 megabytes worth of cash, cache total. So, this is, in this box, is the 2600X. We've okay. got the CPU at the front there, so you get your little Ryzen 5 sticker as well as the CPU itself. We'll take a look at that in a moment. This is the... We'll Wraith probably throw up B-roll of that because it's very small. This is so. the Wraith Spire cooler, which they've used before, from what I understand. Yep, that's it's a particular the, cooler. Yep. So it's got the copper slug. Yep. On the bottom there, we'll show some B-roll of this as well. Um, I think are we actually allowed to disclose that information. <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to edit that out. I don't know. 
Because we're pretty much only supposed to say what's on the sheet. Yeah, okay. We'll ask we'll ask an AMD contact about that. And, and um, I'm only guessing. I don't know the official information. Okay, so that's the 2700 the 2700X. Again, you get your nice little Ryzen 7 sticker up the top there for that one. And this is the new cooler that we can talk about for sure. The Ryzen... A clear, the, the one with prison. the clear fan. Everyone loves a clear fan. So this Ooh, thing... That's a fair bit of copper on that. You get a um, cable for the RGB-ness of this fan as well. So yeah, they've made some improvements to this particular cooler to make it more compatible with motherboards. So along the edges here, they've made some changes to the shape of the fins so that, you know, if you're in a really tight motherboard, you get better clearance for your RAM and yep. so forth. There's an RGB ring around the outside and in the fan as well. So you get that nice RGB effect, which of course AMD is very proud of. Heat pipes, dual heat pipes, and that goes directly to this large copper base on the bottom. So yeah, you get this really nice coverage and obviously the thermal paste is applied there. Um, there so yeah, so okay, so direct touch, direct, copper heat direct pipes, copper yep. contact, yeah. In a big copper slug. So Yeah, so that looks really nice. Yeah, that's why it's so heavy. But yes, yeah, so you only get that particular cooler with the 2700X. If you get the 2700 or the 2600X, you get this cooler, the Wraith Spire, and then with the Ryzen 5 2600, you get the Wraith Stealth. Yes, which we won't be covering on the 19th. So we only have yep. the 2X models, unfortunately. But I'll be getting one of the non-X models as quick as I can, whether I have to buy it on release day or whatever, we'll do it. Okay, uh, well, let's neatly pack these all back away. Okay, so there, all my goodies. I get to use this fantastic knife again. Yes, check all your fingers after use every time. This thing is a serious beast. It is, it's a knife. All right. Yeah, just don't push too hard because uh, it'll burst through that box and you'll have many Ryzen processors. None of them will work. Cut my fingers off would be just a great way to <laughs> continue. <laughs> This video. He survived all the power tools yesterday building the set, so it'd be just right to have the knife yeah. finish off. Um, surprise! Surprise, <laughs> exactly. You never saw it yeah. coming. So again, we've got the kit of CPUs. Yep, we probably don't need to go into those again. I'm just keen to see, did you get the same motherboards or not? Yep, so I'll just chuck this box away. I assume the same memory. I think that's upside down. He's a novice unboxer, this guy. So yeah. once again, it's looking familiar. Whoop. Come on, Tim. We have got the same Aorus and <laughs> Asrock board, so. Uh, well, let's, uh... oh, hang on. No, no it's, it's the same memory as yeah, well. It's the same, it's the same memory. Yeah, it's the same memory. Right. So, um, cool. there is an Asus board as well that is being provided in some review kits, the Crosshair 7 yes. Hero. So the Crosshair 6 Hero is up there, and it's a successor to that one, basically, X470. And but, um, MSI was meant to be getting their motherboard as well. Uh, something's happened there. Anyway, they're still providing one, so we should have that in time for the review on the 19th. So we'll have plenty of X470 motherboards to test yep. out, and we'll be doing comparisons with the X370 boards, letting you guys know what the deal is there. And yeah. We are allowed to say a few things about the X470 boards, the difference um, that they're sort of providing. Obviously, X370 is also compatible with Ryzen mm -hmm. 2. Um, one of the things is apparently they have tweaked the power delivery mechanisms on the motherboard. So there's potentially you will get different sort of clock speed behavior yep. on the X470 boards. Let's just stop talking about the X470 stuff. And you guys probably just want to see an X470 motherboard, not the boxes. So since we have d essentially doubles of everything, let's get rid of my stuff here. Oh, so they're heavy boards. X470 tight sheet ultimate. Lots of crazy stuff in here. 10 gigabit ethernet. Front USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C, it's got Wi-Fi, dual M.2 slots. Pretty fancy. We've got some serious VRM cooling on both boards because they're both very heavy. So there's a look at the Gigabyte board. This one's got something falling off it there. 
There you go, you can have another go at that. While you're doing that, I will talk about this board from what I can see. It looks like uh, 10 plus 2 phase VRM, at a guess, does it say? Uh, yes, 10 plus 2, and it has direct touch uh, heat sinks or heat pipes on top of the uh, MOSFETs. So, and we've actually got proper finned heat sinks on both uh, rows there, so that's very cool. So we should see pretty good VRM temps on this board. Uh, looks like we've got two M.2 slots. It's got a little uh, sort of shield heat sink back plate thing, so that looks pretty cool. I'll give that one to you and I'll get rid of some of this packaging here. There's a massive M.2 uh, sort of heat spreader, sh heat shield type thing there. Very impressive board. This has an 8 plus 4 pin input for the CPU and so does the Gigabyte board. Yep. So plenty of power input. I might want to move that out of the way. So there you go, our X470 boards. We don't know much about them yet. We obviously haven't used them, but I plan on testing uh, the new Ryzen, second gen Ryzen CPUs on these boards as well as the X370 boards and vice versa. So the first gen Ryzen CPUs will also test on these and see if there's any difference there, if they yep. can take advantage of any higher frequency memory and stuff like that. And give you guys all the details this time next week on the channel when we have something like probably a 20 minute plus video testing and trying to find out everything we can in a single video. Have we mentioned the release date, and can we mention the release date? Well, it's this time next week, I pretty much just said it. So yeah. 19th, same time this video went up. Yep. If we can't mention it, sorry, AMD. Yeah, and just four CPUs this time around. No 2800X or equivalent. Just four to Well, last time they only released Ryzen 7 first, and then Ryzen That's 5. That's right. So. But it's looking like that anyway. That makes sense at the moment. Yeah, so. two Ryzen 5, two Ryzen 7, new X470 boards. Yep. And yeah, that new cooler as well. So. Fun stuff. I know this was just the unboxing with extremely very, very little uh, information, but you know, that's just how things go these days. And in a week, you get to see all the details and all the benchmarks and all the good stuff. So thanks for watching this unorganized, rushed unboxing of stuff that some of it was broken, some of it wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, of course, give us a thumbs up for our you know, news corner slash unboxing boxes, very unscripted, yep. yeah, uh, hybrid video. Yep. And uh, as always, subscribe because you don't want to miss that Ryzen coverage on first day when that comes out Hit next week. And of course, support us on Patreon as well, patreon.com slash hardware unboxed. We'll catch you next time. See you guys.